Who is the greatest of all time in F1 racing? This is a highly debated topic but we will give a quick rundown. Lewis Hamilton has the most F1 wins most pole positions and has the joint record of world championships. Juan Manuel Fangio has the top winning percentage of all time with 46, 15% winning 24 of 52 races. Ayrton Senna died at 34 in the prime of his career but everyone still considers him the fastest driver in an F1 car. And who can overlook Michael Schumacher's seven world championships? Who's your pick? Monaco is arguably F1's most famous track. It was on the calendar for the first year of the modern Formula One World Championship in 1950 and has been held in every year except one since 1955. It's also the most quirky. The race is run on the streets of the Principality instead of a closed racetrack. It also has the shortest track and the most laps of all the races. Also, two drivers have crashed into the Mediterranean Sea. Quick tire changes are one of the most amazing sights on the Formula racing circuit. During Formula One races all participating cars stop at designated pit stops. This is where the magic happens. Formula car tires are different from the normal types of car tires available in the market. However, due to excessive use they wear out more. While it takes time to change tires on conventional vehicles Formula One pit stop experts typically change a tire in less than three seconds. Here's one of those F1 facts that will surprise no one. The best F1 drivers are extremely rich. Not only from winning races, endorsements are even more lucrative. Lewis Hamilton is the top earner of all time with $489 million. Second place is Michael Schumacher with $464 million. In third is Fernando Alonso with $458 million and this does not include the collaboration of individual rides from different brands and products. If you're enjoying this video so far, I'd really appreciate it if you could consider a subscribe or like button. Thank you for your support. Over 400 million people watch Formula One on television. Today Formula One along with the Olympic Games and the FIFA World Cup, is one of the most publicized events. In 2020, the global audience stood at 433 million, while the average TV audience was 87.4 million. Formula One Drive to Survive, the documentary series produced by Netflix and Formula One, increased viewership of the sports by 50% by June 2021 compared to the year before. Viewership figures for the French Grand Prix reached 1.1 million viewers in the U.S., the biggest audience on record since the 2019 Canadian Grand Prix. It has been over 45 years since a female F1 driver finished a Grand Prix. This feat was accomplished by Lella Lombardi, who won 12th place at the Austrian Grand Prix for Ram Racing. Several participants in F1, in particular Lewis Hamilton, have called for more equality in motor sports. While the W Series, a free-to-enter championship for female drivers, has made some progress, it will probably be another 10 to 15 years before F1 stops being an exclusive boys club. What do you think? Will we see a woman in the seat in the future?